grade 10 children welcome to another english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 6 of your grade 10 textbook we are going to practice how to read and extract specific information today let's learn how to extract specific information from dictionary pages so it's good if you can keep your dictionary with you while doing the lesson it may become useful so you can pause the video and get it now let's start the lesson children when you come across an unfamiliar word you refer to the dictionary to find the meaning of that word but how many of you really know how to use a dictionary properly so in this lesson let me guide you how to refer to a dictionary and find the information there within a very short time children Let's focus on activity 8 on page 57 of your textbook. This is the question you are going to attempt before we start reading dictionary pages. Let's read it first. Which of the following information about a word does a dictionary page provide? The spelling, meaning, how to pronounce the word, the word class to which it belongs, example sentences using that word, different forms of the verbs, plurals of the nouns. To answer this question, you need to be familiar with what is there on a dictionary page. So use the dictionary with you or the dictionary page on page 58 of your textbook as a guide. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's check the answers. Which of the following information about a word does a dictionary page provide? What about the first one? Do you find the spelling of a word in a dictionary? Yes, you can find it. So you can tick the first one. What about the meaning? Of course, you refer to a dictionary to find the meaning of a word. And most of the time, there's more than one meaning of a particular word. And all those meanings are given in the dictionary, numbering them as 1, 2, etc. You can see two meanings here for the word dictate. They are given as 1 and 2. So let's tick that one too. What about the third one? Do you find information about how to pronounce a word in a dictionary? Look at this. Can you see the way pronunciation is given between two slashes using particular symbols? They are phonetic symbols. So you can take this one too. Now the fourth one. Can you find the word class of a particular word in a dictionary? Word class means whether the particular word is a noun, verb, adjective, adverb, etc. Look at the same image once again. Can you see the word class? Yes, it's there. For the word dictate, the word class is given as verb. Dictation, noun. So let's take the fourth one too. Okay, what is the next one? An example sentence using that word. Look at the two entries here. I'm sure you can see example sentences. For the word dictate, you can see two sentences. She dictated a letter to her secretary and you can't dictate to me where I should go. For each meaning, there is an example sentence. So let's tick the fifth one too. Now the sixth one. What does it say? Different forms of the verbs. What does that mean? Look at the first entry here. It's dictate. Can you see the different forms of dictate here? They are given within brackets as dictates, dictating and dictated. That means third person singular form, ing form and the past tense form. So let's tick that one too. 
Now the last one, plurals of nouns. Do you find the plural of diary here? Yes, it is there as diaries. So we can tick this one too. Okay, now you can understand that a dictionary is something very resourceful. It can be used not only to find the meanings of words, but also for many other purposes. Children, now let's answer some questions based on dictionary pages. In this activity, you have to study this dictionary page and answer five questions. The questions are almost same and very simple as it's your first activity. These are the five questions. You can post the video and answer them now. Okay, let's see whether you could answer correctly. What about the first one? What do you call a small unit of life? Look at the dictionary page. It's the very first entry. A small unit of life is called a cell. Now the second one. From which language does the word February come? This means the origin of the word February. Now, where is the word February? Okay, now here it is. Could you find the answer? Yes, as you can see, it's from Latin. Let's read the third one. What do you call a doorway out of a room or a building? It is the second meaning of the word exit. So the answer is exit. What about the fourth? Let's read it. Find the opposite word for clever. Look at the dictionary entry for the adjective clever now. Can you see the word antonym there at the end? As you know, antonym means the opposite. There are three opposites here. What are they? Stupid, slow and dumb. So you can write any one of the three words as your answer. Now the fifth one. What is the meaning of expensive? It has only one meaning. What is that? Costly or high priced. So you have to write that as your answer. Hope you could find answers to all the questions correctly. Children, let's do a question which I have taken from a past paper now. Look at this dictionary page. You have to study the dictionary page and answer these questions. You can pause the video and do the activity now. Okay, let's check your answers. What about the first one? What is the name of a Mexican food item? Look at the dictionary page. It's enchilada. Now the second one. Find a similar word for come across. That means you have to find a synonym for come across. Could you find the answer? Yes, it's encounter. Let's read the third one. You have to underline the correct answer here. The performance was so good that the audience called out encore. Encore means an extra short performance and a request for this by an audience. What about the fourth? Let's read it. Write a shortened form. In other words, abbreviation for enclosed. Look at the dictionary entries now. ENCL dot is an abbreviation for enclosed. Now the fifth one. Replace the underlined phrase with a single word which has a similar meaning. The range of mountains covered with mist looked pleasing and attractive. What is the single word you can write for pleasing and attractive? It is the second entry, enchanting. 
hope you could find answers to all the questions correctly. Children, that marks the end of our lesson. In this lesson, we practiced how to extract specific information from dictionary pages. I hope it is useful and you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.